Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. And boy, am I taking a worse trip down on memory lane because I'm going to be reviewing the worst movie of 2004, which surprisingly enough was based on a remake of a French series known as Taxi. Yep, which was written by Luc Besson. But it's a terrible one at that because not only does it star Queen Latifah, the greatest uh, rapper and actress coming from TV shows like Living Single and movies like Set It Off, you know, Living Out Loud, Chicago, and, and so many others. But it also stars Jimmy Fallon, yep, a former Saturday Night Live cast member who went on to do late night talk shows. Yeah, because he was a talk show host for the for Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, taking over for Conan O'Brien, and now he's taking over for Jay Leno in The Tonight Show. Yeah, <laughs> NBC sure loves all these no-talent hacks. Yeah. Well, anyway, this was the most painful film that I had to sit through, but here it goes. It stars Queen Latifah and Jimmy Fallon, along with Giselle Bunchen, a fashion model, <laughs> yeah, Jennifer Esposito, Henry Simmons, Patton Oswalt from The King of Queens, and of course stand-up comedian, and Anne Margaret, you know, legendary performer and actress. It's written, once again, by Luc Besson, along with Jim Koff, who happens to be writing the, a buddy cop films called Stakeout, along with another Stakeout. And it's directed by Tim Story, who happens to direct all the barbershop movies, along with the Fantastic Four movies, and most recently, Ride Along with Ice Cube and Kevin Hart which is of course a buddy cop movie but it certainly was a better film than this piece of crap that I'm reviewing today so here it goes the movie begins when a talented driver and an auto mechanic named Bill Williams played by Queen Latifah who actually dreams of driving a NASCAR once she celebrates her last ship as a bicycle courier after winning her taxi license beating the shop record of a new delivery 13 minutes and 54 seconds and while she's in a happy relationship with her boyfriend Jesse played by Henry Simmons she occasionally neglects him and bestow her love with her custom built 1999 Fort Crown Victoria taxi cab that she had for the past five years the next evening of course she skips her dinner date by installing a supercharger into the cab that was given as a present the very last day. Meanwhile, a New York City undercover detective, Annie Washburn, played by Jimmy Fallon, annoyingly, is about to bust a phone card ring from Cuba, which has a street name in Havana, blows his cover in a gunfight, which causes Washburn's partner being wounded in the arms of the Cubans escape. But back in the station, Lieutenant Martha Robbins, played by Jennifer Exposito, has confiscated his driver's license and demoted him to foot patrol duty immediately. So later on, he, after hearing about a bank robbery, Washburn was in his plain clothes, decided to flag down in the middle of the street. He was trying to steal a car, causing a dozens of civilians uh, crashing their cars into a major piled up. Yeah, that was the joke in the film. So part of this, he wants trying to catch a cab, who is of course run by Bill Williams, chasing after these robbers, you know, who happens to be fashion models. You know, the leader, of course, is Vanessa, played by a fashion model Giselle Bachin, who of course is the driver. So in a misunderstanding, the police have arrived and hold up Bell and Washburn. 
So once Bell's cap has been impounded as evidence, she's taken in questions as a witness to the robbery. Which means, you know, it's her loss of two weeks' earnings. And while Washburn promised to get her cab back, you know, decided to join them on a mission, you know, teaming up together to stop the robbers you know, from stealing and coming out with their own major plan. And that's pretty much the whole entire film about what was going on in this ridiculous production that they were going through. And it was a terrible movie too. It was so awful that it's just it's just so ridiculous in so many ways. For example, they even throw in you know, Jimmy Fallon has a mother was played by Anne Margaret, by the way, who's actually a drunk. She started making margaritas every time in her, in her own home. Yeah, that was a waste of opportunity for her. There was also one scene where Bill's boyfriend, Jesse, you know, came to the door and <laughs> and he boiled torch um, you know, Washburn's shield. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, I gotta admit, that was one funny scene, but the rest was just ridiculous. They even had a scene with Fallen, you know, driving around to the tune of the song This Will Be an Everlasting Love by Mally Cole, you know, that song. And it was like a big chase, you know, between them and and the fashion model robbers. It, it was kind of dumb. They had a tough on nails lieutenant as a woman. Yeah, this, this was the kind of film where they wanted to switch genders. You know, when it comes to a buddy cop film, and it was a very dumb one at that, because you know, and while I haven't seen the the French film, you know, all three of them, by the way, yeah, because they did have a male lead in that one, from what I heard. This one is no way near as good as this one. In fact, I read to watch Crazy Taxi. Um, yeah, Crazy Taxi, the video game, by the way. I mean, I'd rather play that game than having to sit for this mess again, because everything is just ridiculous. Yeah, it was annoying and just plain stupid. And yet, I almost forgot there was one scene where they were inside the room and that Washburn accidentally shoots something and suddenly the laughing gas started to go right off. And yeah, they, they started talking in their deep voice and everything. Yeah, it was funny for a while, but then it just gets really annoying. Yeah, yeah you get to hear Queen Latifah and Jimmy Fallon's voice in a very deep voice. Ah, stupid. Um, it's a terrible film. Not worth watching. In fact, avoid this film at all costs. If you ever get a chance to find the Taxi series um, that's in French and it's written by Luc Besson, um, definitely check those out if you ever get to. I haven't seen them, but I'll, I'll probably will check them out someday if I ever because it's a much better film than this. And it's just close to show you that remakes nowadays can be terrible no matter what they're doing. So, <laughs> that's my two cents. So anyway, I give this piece of shit, Taxi, one star. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.